Normally on this show, I ask you a ton of questions throughout the program. I'd like to get that feedback back and forth with you through these shows. But on today's program, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to ask you this question and this question alone. And I want you to go down in the comment section and give me your honest thoughts. Will Jalen Petrie bounce back in 2024? On today's show, I'm going to tell you why I think Jalen Petrie could have a bounce back year in 2024 and kind of give you the reasoning of why I think he had a down year in 2023. All that coming up on today's program. But before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell and select the all option. Make sure you're subscribed to the show for one because we bring you free Texans content all year long, but also make sure you have your notification bell turned on so when we drop a video if there's any breaking news around the team you are the first to be notified and I want to give a shout out to people who I know have their notifications turned on because this is the first commenter club these people are the first people to comment on a video whenever I drop it a video that I dropped earlier this week the first commenters were classic Dell Adam Martinez Jay Esco the goat pick six cards and Lee Hart thank you all so much for for hitting that subscribe button and turning on your notifications and supporting this channel. It means a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. Shout out to the First Commenter Club. If you want to get on a future show, make sure you hit that notification bell and make sure you are subscribed. Now, first up, how we got here in the first place and why I think Petrie struggled in 2023 because obviously he had a lot of promise his rookie year getting drafted out of Baylor in 2022, but let's kind of Take it back and see why Petrie might have struggled in 2023. Well, first off, he got injured in week one. A lot of people forget that he had a very serious injury in that, in that first game against the Baltimore Ravens with a punctured lung or a bruised lung that made him stay in the hospital overnight against the Baltimore Ravens. Missed several weeks to start this season, and it was you know, obviously a very scary injury. If you injured your lung, if you bruised your lung before, you know, it's not a good feeling. And getting back from that, you know, getting back to game shape from that can be very difficult. So I think part of how Jalen Petrie started off his tenure with D'Amico Ryan's defense in 2023, obviously on a slow start, he got, got hurt in week one and was trying to battle back from that injury from that and that can really you know hurt him in multiple ways one conditioning two, you know getting a flow for this defense getting a flow for how this defense is working throughout week to week I think that could have hurt Jalen Petrie a lot to start this 2023 season the second thing I mentioned it a brand new team or a brand new coach brand new scheme and he gets injured in the very first week the change of scheme can be very difficult on we talk a lot about offensive players but also defensive players a change of scheme you know a change of defensive philosophy can be very difficult from year to year if you are having to learn a new playbook learn new verbiage this that and the other and Petrie he acknowledged that because he said you know that's the step for me being calm and understanding what the coaches want for me in 2024. He acknowledges it. He knows that he wasn't up to par in 2023, and he needs to get back into the good graces of this coaching staff and back into what we all know he can do in 2024 because he's an amazing athlete, an amazing player, and really a great football player. I really hope that he can, you know, ch channel all of this and, you know, take it into 2024 and become that rookie version that we saw of Jalen Petrie. And lastly, the reason why I think Petrie struggled in 2023 is because change of position. And I know what you're, you're saying. You're like, hey, Jeremy, hey, he's a safety. Did he not play safety in 2023? He did, but he played a lot more free safety. I think Petrie is at his best when he's in the box playing, you know, down low, like, you know, inside the box right there. Not whenever he's back expected to, you know, really be that guy, the last line of defense in coverage. That's not where Petrie excels. And he had 80 more snaps at free safety, being that last guy in coverage, being the guy on the back end. He had 80 more snaps this year than he had the year prior. 
and he played in two less games. So obviously, they put him in that position more often than not, and I don't think that's where Petrie is at his best. And that, those are some of the reasons why I think he really struggled in 2023, was not able to get his footing. Obviously, he was benched at one point at the towards the end of the season whenever the Texans played the Browns, and I believe it was week 15 or week 16, but... Petrie was just all out of sorts in 2023 from the injury, from the different coaching scheme, and from being out of position, playing in a different role than he was expected to play his rookie season. Now coming up, I'm going to tell you why there is hope, why I think 2024 will be a much yet better year for Jalen Petrie. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already Get yourself a brand new Texans hat with our friends over at Fanatics. The brand new secondary logo is available right now, and it is fresh. If you want to get your hands on any of these hats right here, it's all available at that link below, chatsports.com slash Texans hats. It's available in the comment section and description of today's video. A lot of these hats are also on sale, so check them out today. Do a little window shopping. Maybe just check out like here and there what hats are available. Go check it out today, chatsports.com slash Texans hats. Now, why I'm optimistic for Petrie in 2024, I have three reasons why I think Petrie can really step up his game, can really play to that level that we saw him play his rookie year this year. Now, my first reason, he's in year two with D'Amico Ryans. And I think, you know, obviously going back to the first half of the video, we said the change of scheme was really hurt, like hurt him last season. I think being a little bit more comfortable with D'Amico, being a little bit more comfortable with this defensive staff and the scheme and what the, you know, what the verbiage is, what they're really asking him to do, I think that is going to help him a ton going into this year. And D'Amico, he's always believed in Petrie. I mean, if we go back to last offseason, D'Amico was singing his praises almost every single day of training camp. This is what D'Amico Ryans had to say on Jalen Petrie last offseason. The way Jalen Petrie practices every day, it doesn't surprise me. It's expected because that's what he does every single day. And I mean, as we look into what Jalen Petrie has said going into 2024, he's kind of, you know, putting a lot of the blame on himself and saying, hey, I want to step up to the plate. I want to step up to the challenge. This is what Petrie had to say. That's a part of life. Everything is not always going to be sunshine. I felt like I did a lot of great things in my first year, made some plays, but last year it was more up and down. The most important thing is just making sure I show up for the people who believe in me. I think that starts with my teammates, my coaches, my parents, and making sure I'm delivering for them. So that's really all I'm focused on, keeping the main thing the main thing and sticking to my process. And I mean, Petrie talked about it. He showed a ton of promise in 2022. I, I even, you know, had made a video last offseason saying, I think this is going to be one of the best safety duos in the NFL. But obviously, that wasn't the case. As we look at the numbers from 2022 to 2023, obviously, Petrie was a lot better his rookie year. Almost every stat across the board is better. And the one that I focus on the most, obviously, the tackles is I'm much higher in 2022 than 2023. But the number that I focus on here, it's not even the interceptions. It's the QB rating when targeted. 88.2 in 2022 compared to 2023, 135.4. So he needs to get better in coverage. He needs to play better this year. And I mean, I think he can do that. Because I mean, before the injury in this past season, when Petrie was balling out in training camp last year, I actually made this video on the channel last offseason. I think it was almost a year ago to the date, maybe 10, 11, 10 months ago. But Petrie was balling out in joint practices against the Miami Dolphins. He was one of the best players on the Texans' defense during those joint practices. So obviously the skill level levels there. Obviously he has the ability to make an impact on this defense. I just think they need to play him in the right role and he needs to step up and be better in coverage in 2024. And this leads me to my last point. I think they drafted a pretty good free safety to kind of take some of the pressure off of Petrie in Kalen Bullock. If you've been watching the program over the past month, I've been really singing the praises of Bullock because I think he's exactly what the Texans need to pair up with Jalen Petrie. 
Kalen Bullock is really good on the back end. He's somebody who's going to be a really good, you know, last line of defense. He's that center fielder. He's playing the quarterback's eyes. He's able to defend against the deep ball. Things that Petrie doesn't really do that well at. So I think matching Kalen Bullock with Jalen Petrie will really be able to highlight Jalen Petrie's skill set going into 2024. Take a little bit of pressure off him, not being that last line of defense, not being that, you know, free safety, that guy who's really expected to take away the deep ball for opposing teams that will go a little bit more on to Kalen Bullock I'm not saying that Jalen Petrie won't do any of that in 2024 but he won't mean the main guy he's not going to be the person that everybody looks to to do that I think Petrie can be better in other roles in the box play maybe a little bit nickel dime packages as well play against the slot I think those positions for Petrie could be a lot better than how he was utilized in 2023 now that's all I have for you on today's show. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. And if you want to continue the conversation, if you want to hit me up, talk Texans ball, or just talk NFL, look at the dankest memes on the internet, you can follow me on X at Jeremy Chugs or on IG at Jeremy underscore Chugs. Always love to chop it up with y'all on social media. So go give me a follow, hit up my DMs. They're always open. And as I said at the, at the top of the show, Make sure you have your notifications turned on and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to be the best Texans channel here on YouTube that I can be, but I can't do it alone. I need your help. So if you haven't already, hey, you made it to the end of the video. Why not go down and hit that sub button for free Texans videos all year long?